It's Tuesday, August 1st. We took a short break this last couple of days, but we're back and y'all already know what it is. Netlink Daily. On, On a Tuesday. Tuesday. Let's go. AMD has had a pretty busy last few days. Last week, we saw the launch of Ryzen 3 CPUs, but yesterday, AMD revealed detailed info on their RX Vega graphics cards. Their top tier card is the Radeon RX Vega 64 liquid cooled, which is obviously a liquid cooled GPU. The next card in the lineup is the RX Vega 64 limited edition, which comes with a metal shroud. Then there's the RX Vega 64 plain, which is technically the limited edition, just without the metal shroud. Finally, there's the RX Vega 56. All of the Vega lineup so far will have 8GB of HBM2 VRAM and all will use a 14 nanometer FinFET manufacturing process. The Vega 64 cards will have 64 compute units, while the Vega 56 will have 56 units. Kind of works out. In terms of other specs, you can check the sources in the links down below. There's just a lot to go through. In terms of performance though, the Vega 64 is meant to be competitive with the GTX 1080. The Vega 56 card is meant to be competing with the GTX 1070. As for pricing, AMD has announced that the liquid cooled Vega 64 card will only be available through the $699 Radeon Aqua Pack, which includes two games. The regular 64 will launch at $499 and the Vega 56 will launch at $399. The Vega cards are set to hit shelves on August 14th. What do you guys think of the deeds for the Vega cards? Are you excited to see the GPU wars ramp up? Leave a comment down below. AMD also announced new Radeon Pro cards at Seagraph, the Radeon Pro WX9100 and the SSG. The WX9100 will double the performance of the last gen W9100 as it will pack 16 gigs of HBM2. The Radeon Pro SSG will also sport 16 gigs of HBM2, but instead of just one terabyte of onboard NAND flash memory, this sucker will have two terabytes. Damn. The WX9100 will retail for $2199 while the SSG will be $6,999. Yeesh. Both are expected to ship September 13th. We can all mostly agree that AMD pretty much stole the show at Seagrap, but that doesn't mean Nvidia was just watching from the sidelines. Oh, no, 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 no. Nvidia announced that it is working with Venice to bring Titan XP and Quadro GPUs to notebooks as external GPUs for creative professionals. Now, external GPUs aren't revolutionary as brands have their own versions, but Nvidia wants to have these GPU boxes be certified for professional standards of operation and performance. So, yeah, Titan XPs and Quadro cards on notebooks, pretty cool. No word on pricing just yet. Oh, you know what it's time for. <laughs> Lightning round. HP has announced the ZVR backpack, which is geared towards the professional crowd. It has an i7 for a CPU with Quadro graphics. It's also dockable, costs $3,299, and will be available around the end of September. Google announced that the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are both now Google Daydream compatible. Sony announced a new Destiny 2 edition of the DualShock 4, and I just puked a little in my mouth. Just looks like they slapped a bunch of gold stickers on a white controller. I mean, the new controllers will only be launching in the UK, Poland, and Russia. I mean, I don't like it, but who knows? Maybe the Europeans will like it. Lee and Lee's standing desk PC case is now available to be purchased. And SteelSeries has announced true one-to-one -one mouse tracking with their Sensei and rival mice that feature the new TrueMove 3 sensor. Sources for all today's news stories can be found in the NSX forum post linked down below. Why, Malcolm? Why? Why did you ruin the internet? Thanks, Josh, for your yo dog submission. I don't know if Malcolm meant it, but I'm sure he can fix it. Maybe. If you have a yo dog submission that you would like us to say on the show, tweet at us with hashtag NCX yo dog. Yo dog, it's time for the announcement of the July Fans with Benefits winner. Uh, drum roll, please. Barrett's on, on lunch. <laughs> Congratulations to Nicholas. You've won a gigabyte Z170 Gaming 7, oh, Z170X Gaming 7 motherboard. Meh? Meh? Yeah. 
check your YouTube notifications or your YouTube inbox for details. If you don't know where that is, we'll link it in the description. For the August Fans with Benefits prize, it will be... Drum roll. He's still on lunch. It's going to be the ASRock X370 Killer SLI motherboard. Now, if you're new here, FWB is our way of saying thank you to the fans for their support over the years. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on any of the videos from the month of August for a chance to win. Comment on as many videos as you like and as many times as you like. This is open worldwide, so subscribe and leave a comment. All right, that's it for Nightlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more like this from, from NCIX. Bye!